Okay, in this example, we're going to figure out how far Jupiter is from the Sun in kilometers. And what this is going to let us do is, for the first time, make a conversion from one unit of measurement into another. Now, I have no idea how far Jupiter is from the Sun in kilometers, but I do know this. I know that Jupiter is 5.2 AU from the Sun. Now, how do I know that Jupiter is 5.2 astronomical units from the Sun? Because I looked it up. It's perfectly fine to look up a known value if you're not sure of it and calculate from there. And yes, I can look this answer up in Google. I can just ask Google, how far is Jupiter from the Sun in kilometers? And it will give me an answer. But, you know, remember, we're trying to, we're trying to get a few reps in here. We want to flex our muscles a little bit and practice converting from one unit into another. So let's go ahead and think about this for a second. We know our answer in astronomical units. To get it into kilometers, we simply have to remember that one astronomical unit is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the eighth kilometers. We learned that during our tour of the universe. So if 1.5 times 10 to the eighth kilometers or 150 million kilometers is the same thing as saying one AU, that's like saying that the ratio of That's like saying that this ratio is basically like the value of one. I mean, that's really what we're saying. I know it doesn't seem that way, but remember one AU equals this value. So if I divided 1.5 times 10 to the eighth kilometers by 1.5 times 10 to the eighth kilometers, I get one. And that's pretty useful because we can take any number and multiply it by one and we won't change its value. So we can take 5.2 AU, and we can multiply it by this representative 1 here. So we're going to multiply it by 1.5 times 10 to the eighth kilometers per AU. And the reason we do that is because these units cancel. That's right. The AUs can be treated like numbers. The units can be treated like numbers. And we get a value of, well, I've simply gone to multiply 5.2 by 1.5. And I'm not good at math. So I'll just go ahead and let's go ahead and calculate that really quick. 1.5 times 5.2. Ah, 7.8. Okay, cool. So 7. Point eight, and just carry the 10 to the eighth kilometers. And that's our answer in kilometers. It's that easy. You just take the value that you know, and you multiply it by the desired conversion.